Hello and welcome to the Yonatech video series. I'm John Yonan and today uh, we are going to continue with the part three of uh, the initial router setup uh, of a Cisco device, Cisco router. Uh, what we're going to do is, well, at the end of the last video we talked about setting up a serial interface and some fast Ethernet interfaces. Uh, there are still some other things that we should probably do uh, in order to set up this router. We're going to have a separate separate uh, video for s setting up serial interfaces and setting up fast Ethernet interfaces. So uh, what I'd like to uh, do right now is let's um, let's bring out a, uh, a router. I like my 2811 and Get into the command line interface. <clears throat> and we're going to select no here. Um, if you've ever typed in a uh, command incorrectly uh, in a Cisco router or, or, or other device, um, and then you sit there and you wait and you wait and you wait for a minute or two uh, as the router tries to uh, translate your command into uh, to a domain server. Um, the router is set by default to resolve any word that is not a command to a DNS server, a domain name server. And it looks for that DNS server at uh, a broadcast address of 255.255.255.255. Uh, if you're not going to set up a DNS server in your environment, you're going to want to turn this feature off. I guess if you want to call it a feature, to me it's just a pain, but it is a feature. Um, <laughs> so this is how you do it. You would simply go into uh, Privileged exec mode. Let me get something out of the way here on my other screen. And then you would go into global configuration mode. And here, all you have to do is type no IP domain dash lookup. Whoops. And hit enter. Now, if you enter an unrecognized command, the router will not interpret that as having to go look that up uh, on a DNS server and you'll be able to you know, continue and move along without having uh, those kinds of, of uh, delays. Another command that is very helpful is the logging synchronous command. Now what's that? Well Oftentimes when you're typing, uh, the router is going to want to give you information about what's going on uh, during uh, your session. And oftentimes it will interrupt you right in the middle of you entering a command. And that's, that's always uh, you know, a little dis disconsorting. You look at it and you go, hmm, where did I leave off? What, was my, what, what am I supposed to type next? Well, It's very easy to, f to resolve. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go into, we'll stay in uh, global configuration mode. We'll just type in line console zero, enter. Now we're in line mode, uh, in the console line mode, and we'll simply type logging synchronous. Hit enter. I type that right? Yep. <laughs> so that turns on synchronous logging. Uh, so any information that's sent to the console will now not be interrupted uh, as you're typing. Uh, the command will be moved to the next line. Uh, let's see, what else can we come up with here? One more uh, feature that I think would be important is uh, the exact timeout command. The exact timeout command 
uh, sets the time limit uh, when the console automatically logs off. So you could set it to zero, zero, meaning zero minutes, zero seconds, and the uh, console will never log off. It will remain on as long as you have your session open. Uh, that's probably not a very good idea, but um, you know it is something that you could do. A lot of people will just say uh, exec timeout 10 and 0. Let me demonstrate. Uh, we go back into line console mode. And we would type in exec space, I'm sorry, dash timeout space. If we wanted it, if we wanted it to not ever end, we would type zero space zero. And that way you could continuously operate in the console without ever having a timeout. But for our purposes today, we're going to say 10 minutes zero seconds and hit enter. Now I'm going to be good to go for at least 10 minutes of non-activity. Uh, if I do start typing then it will reset itself but if I have uh, no activity in 10 minutes it will time out and log me off. Um, Alright, let's talk about We've done this in, a, <clears throat> in one of the previous videos, but I just want to re reiterate it here. If you want to ever save your configuration, you would simply type, this is the long version, by the way, copy running dash config space startup dash config. And then you'd hit enter. And if you want to use the default name, you simply hit enter and it will save the configuration. You can also uh, save the configuration to a TFTP server. For example, you could type copy space running dash config and then TFTP. Now, uh, I don't happen to have a TFTP server running, obviously, within here in Packet Tracer, but uh, uh, you could certainly save that configuration out to any TFTP server that you like. Uh, let's go, let's do one more thing, we'll just back off here. Let's say that you wanted to erase, completely erase this configuration. Okay, let's do a show run, show run for running config, and we'll just uh, look at the config. There's not much here because it's a brand new server. Uh, but, so let's uh, let's change the host name. Remember we went to configure terminal conf t we type in host name space and I think the one we did before was home router one enter. Alright now let's uh, go back out one we'll go uh, copy running config startup config hit enter save it you'll know now that the host name is home router one and if we do a show run or running config we now see that host name is set to home router one okay so Sometimes, let's say that you uh, purchased a router from eBay or some other source. It's a used router, and it has a pre-existing configuration file already set up. Well, it's highly unlikely that you're going to need the uh, uh, or want to use the previous uh, running config. Uh, so, or or should I, I should rather say the startup config. So what you want to do is you want to erase that configuration and start fresh. And the simple way to do that is in enable mode, you would simply type erase space startup dash config. 
Okay. And when I hit enter now, it says erasing the NVRAM or the non-volatile RAM, the non-volatile random access memory file system re will remove all configuration files. Do you want to continue? All you have to do is hit enter to continue and it's done. Now, if we were to do a reload, you'll notice right now we still show this home router one because the uh, because the configuration is in RAM, right? It's in it's in memory right now. So let's just do a reload. R E L O A D. Enter. Confirm. It's going to restart the router. Reload the configuration. We'll say no here. And everything's going to be brand new. Show running config. And you'll notice, well, right off the bat, we would have noticed because it says router. But if any other configurations had been changed inside of this router, they would have gone back to the absolute defaults. All right. So... Last thing I want to do is just show you, run through some a series of show commands. Um, we've already done the show question mark, and that's going to show you all of the different possibility, possibilities that you can use with the show command. Uh, but let's do a couple that are somewhat important. Let's do show interfaces. Show interfaces is going to show you in detail information about here's fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and here is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and then it also shows the VLAN uh, uh, virtual interface uh, lots of information here I'm not going to go through all of the details right now but you can uh, you should peruse through this. You're going to see all sorts of good information. It'll, it'll give you the MAC address, for example. Um, uh, what's the MTU? Well, it's, it, everything's defaulting to 1500, but you could change that. Um, you know, when when we actually start assigning IP addresses and getting some statistical information, we'll be able to go through this and look at any errors and you know it allows us to do some troubleshooting which is which is really handy all right let's get to the bottom here um, if we uh, one of my favorite commands is show IP interface brief and of course I am I am abbreviating this but it's show IP interface brief and that will show you all of the interfaces and their statuses. Um, another one would be, let's uh, do show clock. That'll give you the current date and time stamp for the clock. And obviously this one is wrong. We'd want to go and set it. And we did that in one of our previous videos. Show hosts. Well, there are none right now. Um, but... Uh, Let's see, show, there's all sorts of different ones. Show Flash, we did that in a previous video. Shows all of the different files that are in flash memory. Uh, show ARP. There's nothing here because we don't have anything plugged in. Uh, that's the uh, address resolution protocol. Uh, you get a lot of ARP caching going on in switches and uh, it does the same in uh, in the uh, interfaces here on the router. Uh, show protocols. Right now we <laughs> uh, we really don't have much to look at here. Um, we don't have any specific uh, things going on with. Uh, just displays the status of the layer three protocols for each of these uh, interfaces. 
we could do, you know, we've been doing a lot of show running config, but we could also do the show uh, startup config, uh, whoops, startup config as well, and hit enter. Um, and it, since we just reloaded it, we don't have a startup config, so let's do this. Copy, run, start, enter. Now if we do the, use the up arrow, now it'll show our startup config because we didn't have it in memory because we had deleted it and we needed to save it again in order for it to be created. All right. Um, last thing I'm going to talk about is normally we would we would have all of the show commands available to us here, but if we are in conf configure terminal mode or global configuration mode, we can achieve, uh, rather than moving back and forth, we can do the do command and then the show command. So let's do space show version. And that's showing the version of this computer, or I'm sorry, this router. So it will work as long as you, you do the do command and it will allow you to um, execute the privilege level show running config or any other command while in global configuration mode. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, we're going to get start getting into more of the uh, details. In the next video, we're going to we're going to uh, set up our serial connections and show you how to um, set up uh, the fast Ethernet interfaces. So. With that said, thank you for viewing. If you have comments, questions, uh, please list them below. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like our series and, and subscribe to our channel. A uh, lot more videos to come. And uh, uh, I also have uh, some things that I'll be giving away, uh, software that I've developed uh, that'll be given away in the very near future. Okay? Thanks, everyone. Take care.